Hey students, uh, we're going to look at how to use game attributes in this tutorial. Now, uh, before we get started, I just want to mention that game attributes uh, in many other programming languages, we would normally be calling these things variables. So if you've done any sort of programming course and you've worked with variables before, that's what we're going to be looking at today. And specifically, we're going to be looking at uh, using variables to keep track of how many uh, bananas we collected. Uh, we will see later on that there's a lot of uses for variables. So as I collect my bananas one at a time, uh, we'll see an updated score to show how many we've collected. So let's begin. Now, first off, um, I'm in the events for my bananas, right? So I'm in my actor bananas, and I'm under events. Now, uh, we looked at this in our last tutorial about how to, uh, the difference between the two types of collisions, that uh, the type-to-type -type collision will kill all banana types, which means essentially killing all bananas. And last time we looked at um, killing each individual banana. Now, in this code, actually, this is actually where uh, some of our work is going to begin with game attributes or variables. So, um, First off, I'd like you guys to go over to Game Attributes if you're following along. And we're going to create a new game attribute, or as I said, variable. And when you create a game attribute, you want to give it or define a meaningful name for it. So in this case, because we're going to count how many bananas we have, so I'm going to call this banana counter. And I can say banana counter already exists. Uh, that's because I've already created one. So I'm just going to call it banana counter 2. Uh, the initial value uh, will start at zero. Now, before we move uh, further, um, a variable is just sort of like you might think of it in mathematics. Um, it represents a value. So this is what we call it, banana counter two, and it represents the value zero. And of course, as the word variable or very means, very means to have a lot of different varieties or that it can change. And that's exactly what a variable is supposed to do. So uh, I'm going to create this first, and then counter two. And once we've got it created, you'll see that there, it's in getters and setters. Now, Stencil does have a bug where um, you can create a variable, but it doesn't appear right here right away. It's created it, but it doesn't show up. So the simplest thing to do is to close this if it doesn't show up and to reopen it. And I mean, luckily, mine is uh, my version of Stencil is working properly for this. And that's why you can see the, uh, the game attributes or variables here right away. So um, getters will get or um, retrieve the value of the variable of whatever it represents. So let's have a look at a little bit of uh, computer logic. Uh, we're going to perform an action here. And we're going actually going to be setting our variable. So I'm going to actually use banana counter uh, zero, or banana counter one, banana just banana counter. Okay. Um, we're going to set banana counter two, and this is going to be very interesting. I'm going to pull out uh, under numbers and text math, uh, an addition, and I'm going to grab a getters here. And this is going to seem a little bit funny to you. Uh, but uh, maybe after I explain it, it will make a little bit of sense. So just put banana counter in one to one of these. We're going to put a one in the other option. So remember that banana counter is a getter, and this set banana counter is a setter. So this says to set the banana counter to something, whatever we put into here. That's what it will set it to. Now, if we look at just this math equation here, banana counter plus one, so Banana counter, again, will grab or get uh, the existing value of banana counter and we'll add one to it. Um, and we're going to stick this whole equation into here. And the resulting uh, code that we've got here, uh, this, you'll see this very often in other programming languages as well, is um, what it actually does is that it takes whatever the current value of banana counter is and it increases it by one. So that means if banana counter is zero, it'll become one. If it's 10, it will be 11. If it's negative 35, it's going to be negative 34. 
So whatever banana counter is, it will increase that value by one, right? So set banana counter to whatever value it currently is and add one more to it, okay? So let's stick this into here because that's actually exactly what we need to do, right? Every time we, um, a banana gets killed or every time we collect a banana, we're going to increase our banana counter by one. We don't care what the original value is, but we're gonna uh, make it one higher. Now, to see this in action, we actually have to show our value onto the screen. So we're gonna go over here to level one. All right, so this is my level one, right, where I can collect my bananas. And we're going to add an event here. Go to the basic, one drawing. And the event we're going to be adding is, uh, is under drawing. And we're gonna draw text, the very first one. Just gonna drag that out, okay? And we're gonna draw it at an X and Y coordinate. And I'm gonna go over to my game attributes. Okay, again, we're gonna get the value of our banana counter, and that's what we're gonna draw. So whatever the banana counter is, we're gonna draw that resulting value onto our screen. Now, where do we draw our X and Y coordinates? Let's have a look at our scene, okay? Now, if you look down here, let me zoom in, you'll see that there's an X and Y coordinate, okay? And as I move my mouse around here, you can see that X and Y coordinate changing. And what that means is that uh, my mouse is actually where this X and Y coordinate are, okay? So if I'm looking, I'm just gonna sort of scan this top part of my screen, because I might wanna put that my banana counter on top, okay? So I'm, I'm gonna maybe center it so to about here. So I'm just gonna round it up. So it looks like about 380, and my Y coordinate is 65. Okay, so that's what I'm going to use, 380 and 65. Let's go back over to our events, x380, y65. Okay, I'm just going to stick this directly into here. So every time, uh, whenever it wants to draw something, it's going to draw this text, and it'll show up on our screen. Okay, let's sample this out and see whether it works or not. Zoom out. Okay, looks like it's ready to go. Okay, so there we go. We have our banana counter. It wasn't exactly where I thought it was going to be, uh, but it is there and it's zero. So let's test that and see when we collect our first banana. And it does change to one. And that's it. that's what we expect, right? Because it's increasing that value by one. Okay, and if I touch another banana, it's two, three, four, five, and six. Right, so it seems to be working properly. Uh, and that's uh, where I will end this tutorial. In my next tutorial, I will uh, we'll look at how to uh, make a condition and evaluate uh, and make our game change based on our banana counter value. All right, see you guys next time.